So the question is the importance of having an appropriate diet, a nutritionist, nutritional diet, and uh, a healthy, uh, active lifestyle that you exercise regularly. What is the impact? And uh, it's crucial, um, especially for a disease like cutaneous lymphomas, where you're going to hopefully live with this disease for decades. And so we want to make sure that our patients are addressing all the other medical uh, consequences that occur with aging. And so they should be eating healthy and they should be exercising. Uh, there's no evidence it impacts on this disease per se in terms of our ability to control it, uh, but in terms of quality of life, it's essential. Uh, there is provocative data, and this is broader than the cutaneous lymphomas. This relates to all cancers uh, related to uh, glucose and insulin. Uh, we know that cancer cells more effectively take up sugar than normal cells. Uh, that's been known for over a century. It's the work of Otto uh, Warburg. And the cancer cells uh, use the sugar to make what we refer to as biomass, uh, proteins, nucleic acids, fats. They don't use it as much to generate energy. Uh, but if we inject radioactive sugar into a patient, this is the PET scan, it lights up the cancers. And so in animal models, actually, if you decrease the exposure to sugar, while you do other therapies, the therapies are more effective. In humans, it's hard to get a sugar level so low that uh, you're not starving the rest of the body while you're affecting the cancer. And so uh, we actually are doing some research looking at pharmacologic ways of blocking the sugar uptake in cancer cells. And we find it's very effective, at least in the test tube and in animal models.